we have come to the end of chapter 11 of Daniel. We have seen that the great end time beast power, the great end time Holy Roman Empire, the seventh resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire has come down. It has conquered the king of the south, Egypt and her allies. It enters into the glorious holy mountain. It enters into the Holy Land and Jerusalem. We have seen Luke 21, Jesus said that armies are going to surround Jerusalem at the very end time, and the desolation of Jerusalem is going to take place, and those people that are in that area, in Jerusalem and in the Holy Land at that time, had better flee and get out of there. So this is where we have come now, to the end of Daniel chapter 11, the beast power, the end time Babylon power of Revelation 17 and 18 is now in the Holy Land and has now captured and destroyed J Jerusalem. We read on in verse chapter 12 of Daniel. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, yes, one of God's great angelic servants which stands for the children of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. This is the same time of trouble as given in Matthew chapter 24, verses 15 and verse 21, Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. It is the great tribulation at the end time, the beginning of the 42 months of the end of this age as given in Revelation, 42 months, 1,260 days, as Revelation says. And we've come to that time now. And the great time of trouble such has never, ever been. I mean, you think about the First World War, the Second World War. Friends, I have to tell you, the prophecies of God's word says that this end time trouble is going to make those two world wars look like a Sunday afternoon picnic. This last end time trouble, if it wasn't stopped by Jesus Christ on his coming, there would be no flesh saved alive. Jesus said so in Matthew 24. We would obliterate all life from off this planet. This great time of trouble that never was before and never will be again. And at that time, your people shall be delivered. Yes, I've said to you that everywhere you look, look, you Strong's Concordance and look up the word Israel, look up the word Judah, house of Israel, house of Judah, and you will find that they are both in captivity to their enemies when Jesus Christ returns. And at that time, your people shall be delivered. Every one that is found written in the book, yes, and there'll also be deliverance for God's true people who are written in the book of life. And many, verse 2, or the multitude as it could be, but many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. There will be a resurrection at this time when Jesus Christ returns. Some to everlasting life, the resurrection to immortality, and some to shame and everlasting or age-lasting contempt. You know that it could well be possible at the end time when this takes place, there will not only be a resurrection of the saints of God down the, from the ages and the true people of God living at that time, being changed from mortal to immortal, 1 Corinthians 15, that there will maybe be a physical resurrection of peoples. Ezekiel chapter 37 and the people of Israel, read it. There could well be a physical resurrection of peoples. That shouldn't seem too hard to believe or think about. You might remember, if you read the Gospels, that around Jesus' resurrection, there were physical people resurrected. Yes, it is written in the Gospels. There was physical people resurrected around the time that Jesus was resurrected. So it could well be that Ezekiel 37 is talking about a physical resurrection of many, many people 
and many of the children of Israel. Verse 3, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Now, you want to know what wisdom is? Psalm 111 and verse 10. That will give you a Bible definition of the wise. And they that turn many to righteousness, yes, bringing indeed people to repentance and to salvation and to keeping the will and the commandments of God, righteousness defined in Psalm 119 and verse 172, many will turn to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. My friends, this understanding of the book of Daniel is only now, at the time of this end, fully understood. It is the time of the end. God doesn't say how long the time of the end is. It could be decades long. But I can tell you the book of Daniel it can now be understood. But Daniel was to seal it up until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. We are living in a time where people are helter-skelter all over the world every day of the year. And we have increased with knowledge like it's unbelievable, the knowledge that we now have. And so we are in the end times, and the book of Daniel indeed can and is revealed to us. Verse 5. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on the other side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall be the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that lives forever, that it shall be for a time, times, plural, and time. That's the same as in the book of Revelation. And that indeed equals 42 months, and it equals 1,260 days. So it equals with 30 months to the year in God's calendar, it would equal three and one half years, 30 days to the month. It shall be then for the time, times, and half. And when he has accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, the, the holy people are going to yet be scattered. The saints of God, the holy people, there's, there's no people on the face of this earth that deserve the title of holy people more than the true saints of God. And they are going indeed to enter a time where they're going to be scattered, as I showed last time. They're going to have to flee away from this Babylonian Roman holy empire, and they're going to have to flee, and they're going to be scattered. And until that takes place, it says here, all these things shall be finished. So until that takes place, my friends, Jesus Christ is not going to return. There is going to be a persecution of true Christians, and that's worldwide, and that is especially the Western world. And until that takes place, a scattering, a persecution of the true saints of God in the Western world, Jesus Christ is not going to return. These things will not be finished until that happens. Verse 8. And I heard, but I understood not. Then I said, Oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said to me, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end. We are now in the time of the end. Verse 4 proves it. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Yes, testing and trying and persecution to be made white at this end time. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. Do you want to know the Bible definition of the wicked? Psalm 119, verse 53. None of the wicked are going to understand this. But the wise shall understand. Again, 
Psalm 111 verse 10. That's the Bible definition of the wise. Verse 11, and from the time that the daily and sacrifice is not in the Hebrew, from the time that the daily shall be taken away, and the abomination that makes desolate set up, and that was interpreted for us by Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 21, verse 20, 20 to 21. Because that is the interpretation of the, of the way that Jesus put it in Matthew 24. That indeed the abomination of desolation. There shall be 2,090 days. Blessed he that waits and comes to the 3,305 and 30 days. So there's added a little more to it here in the book of Daniel. It's not just 42 months. It also adds more days for whatever reason. I can't tell you. It's not written. We don't know. But it's going to be there. It's added to the 42 months. And in verse 12, blessed is he that waits and comes to the 1,330 and 5 and 30 days. But go your way till the end. For you shall rest, Daniel, you shall rest in death and stand in the lot, stand in your lot, the lot of the righteous, the resurrection of the righteous children of God, the saints of God, the true saints of God. Daniel was to rest until that lot would be resurrected. At the end of the days, plural. So Jesus adds some more days here. More than 42 months. More than 1,260 days. More than a time, times and half a time. And you can see what those days are. We just read it. But it doesn't matter. what You, you don't need to be concerned about the exact days. You will know when the tribulation begins because Jerusalem is going to be destroyed by the beast power, the Holy Roman Empire. And you will know that time then is short. You will know that within about three and a half years, Jesus Christ is going to return. Daniel is going to stand in the lot in the resurrection that takes place when Jesus returns. The resurrection of the saints takes place at the trumpet sound, at the last trump. It takes place when Jesus Christ returns. And the resurrection and Daniel will stand in his lot with all the rest of the saints down through the ages. And we will be with Jesus Christ and we will go forth on that day. And we will destroy the armies at Armageddon. And on that day, Zechariah 14, Jesus and the saints will touch the Mount of Olives and the kingdom of God will be start. It will start to be set up on this earth. And we can enter and think then, indeed, what a wonderful age we're going to have for a thousand years.